So okay. let me let me just start by saying how how grateful everyone on the team at the Underground Multiplex is to you and your family for inviting us to be a part of this legacy project, which is really how I see it, a legacy project for your parents. Yeah, yeah, I mean, here we are in, in your parents' basement. It's been, a, it's been like a, a re-remembering of all of it. I've had to re, I'm trying to think how to, what's the best way to say it. Had to re, sort of like I had to relive it, re -go, go back through it all. As I'm bringing these paintings up and cleaning them, um, you get you get memories. Yeah, come up, and it's like, ooh. Yeah, I know what um, you mean. You know, it's funny. This morning, you know, I got up and I knew we were coming here, yeah. and I felt my mom really close because my mom just passed last year, and I think there's a part of working on this project with you guys that I really, I really connected with you guys and your desire to do this legacy work for your parents and it, how difficult it is to revisit it. Losing my dad was bizarre. Um, couldn't talk about it without breaking down. 88 years old. And yet wow. I didn't miss, I wasn't, I wasn't sad that he died. He was 88, he was dying. He needs to die. Look yeah. at him, he's, you know, he's done. He's on the, on, in the hospital. He's, but afterward, then he's showing up in my dreams, and then Brad goes, is, is, is Dad showing up in your dreams? I said, yeah, yeah, he keeps showing up in my dreams, and it's freaking me out, you know, and then Mom's showing up in my dreams when she died. We're both crying when she died, so it was just, you know, it was rough. But it's, it's, been, it's been so interesting to bring these paintings back up and put them back up, and I'm just so excited that they're on display and people are talking about it.